All right, welcome back everyone to yet another video in the Unreal Engine tutorial series, RPG tutorial series. Um, in this episode, we are finally gonna start with the bow and arrow stuff. Uh, lots of people have commented it, um, and there don't seem to be that many good tutorials about it, at least not in multiplayer. So let's just do it. Um, I've done it in my own project like a long time ago, so I haven't really touched that part in a while. So I might have forgotten some details, so we'll just do it as we go. Uh, but we'll figure it out, there won't be any problems. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do in the coming like one, two, maybe three videos or something. So if you are new to the channel and this is your first video, please like and hit that subscribe button it makes me super happy if you are old to the channel you feel uh, extremely well welcome to 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 like as well because it makes me happy and uh, yeah as always let me know in the comments if there's any questions or thoughts or whatever uh, we are going to be running towards ending this series so uh, also let me know like suggestions what you want to do i think we might Try to do a grab attack as well or something. We'll see. Um, anyway, yeah, let's do it. What do you need before you start? Um, we have some in the in my imported folder. I have from Mixamo some bow and arrow animations. Uh, we have some, yeah, some bow and arrow animations. They are completely free as everything you see in this project is completely free. So if you go to if you go to Mixamo, uh, and animations, I've shown you how to get the animations from Mixamo previously, so you should have that part figured out now. Otherwise, just go back and watch one of the earlier videos. But you can see there are plenty of bow and arrow animations. I got the idle one, the uh, the idle bow, like the aiming idle bow, this one, and uh, the walk bow. So the in all four directions, back, forward, uh, left, and right, and I think bow fire. Uh, what's it called? Uh, bow, bow shooting, shooting arrow. Bam, that one. So those are the animations that we're gonna be using. Uh, so we're not gonna be doing a um, paragon character for that one. And uh, we're also gonna need to set up a new weapon, uh, which is gonna be the ranged weapon. And to do that, we need a bow. And I just so happen to already have a bow, which is nice, so we don't have to use we don't have to use Sketchfab or anything. You know, feel free to use Sketchfab as I've shown you before. There are, should be plenty of bows. Why camera so fast? There should be plenty of bows around there, but we're just gonna use this one. It's from the City of Brass, one of the uh, a free marketplace uh, asset. So as everything else, it's gonna be free. All you see is free, free, free. So this is a skeletal mesh. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing animations for it because I just don't have, I, I'm not really sure how to, to be honest. Uh, or I think I should be able to figure that out, uh, but we'll skip that part for now, maybe, maybe do it later. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is browse to this one uh, and we're just gonna convert it if you have it in the level we're just gonna right click and convert it to static mesh and we're gonna do prefabs weapons uh, oh, okay no we actually have the models here sorry uh, Weapons, and we're gonna do bow. SM bow. 
There we go. Can delete the skeleton mesh, and we now have a static mesh as a bow. And the reason I don't want to use actually do a skeleton mesh with animations and stuff like that is because we already set up the weapon system with some static meshes, and and it's going to be a little bit complicated to switch that now. But we'll see, maybe later. Um, so we go to our weapons. And we have master weapon, we have the sword and everything. We're just gonna create another child called bow. And I don't like to name them only what they are. I always like to use like a prefix of something because it makes makes everything a little bit cleaner. And it's easier to search for stuff later as well. If you maybe you have Sword of uh, Ancient Doom and you forgot the exact name, then you can just search for Sword and you will find all your swords and it will be easier to find that specific sword. So just weapon before these ones. Um, and we have the weapon bow. Go into it and we have the details. So we have the details for the bow here. Um, for the main hand, we're going to have sm underscore bow. We're going to call it bow of doom. Uh, and we need to fill this stuff in to be able to equip it. So you need to go to your player character and uh, to your skeleton. and now we need to make a socket for the bow. So if we go into a preview animation, there we go. So I just wanted to make sure that we are actually recording. And uh, so you can go to a preview animation. You can search for aim. Uh, no, what's it called then? Animation, recorded. XML bow animations shooting standing aim idle. Go to that standing aim idle. Oh. There we go. And we are gonna be removing the X, remove all attached assets. And we are gonna. So the bow will be in the left hand. So select your left hand, add socket. And we're gonna call this equip underscore bow. Preview asset, and we're gonna add the bow. So we can align the sockets. And that should be fine. There we go. Actually, not quite. That's better. And let's also add a socket to the back. Oh, I think I need to buy a better shear. Stretch. And it's fine. And we're going to add the bow here as well. SM bow. Oh no, no, sorry. Uh, we're going to add socket. And this will be unequip underscore bow. And add preview asset SM underscore bow. I think most of the other ones are actually bent that way for the sword and the X, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the bow that way. Like that. Unequip. Perfect. Now we can just paste these ones into the unequip. Let's see, the unequip is the unequip bow. And the other one is equip underscore bow. Perfect. Um, 
now we need to create a new item type because we have main hand, off hand, and two handed. And this is why it's nice to work with like enumerations and structs because it's super easy to just add stuff later. What's it called? E with no, not stance. Uh, item type. Not weapon type. We have the item type. And let's create a new. It's going to be called bow. And now we need to go into our master item. In the master weapon, you, you need to open the master one. Whenever you change like an enumeration or structure, you need to go into the master one and recompile everything for it to tr transfer over to the children. And the same with your all, all of your blueprints that are actually using those uh, structs and um, enumerations need to be recompiled. And you can also save everything I believe that's it um, so that's part one the weapon is now set up let's see or is it no nope. uh, and also for the static mesh here bow oh sorry They are spinning around nicely there. So now we have our bow. We can pick it up and you can see that it goes into our back. So this is why it's super nice to work with in, in this modular way because that's how quickly we actually set up like a new weapon. We still haven't set up uh, a way to, uh, to equip it properly, but you can see now that uh, it's, it actually goes to the hand and everything. So what we need to do now is we need to do a, a blend space for it as well, because you can see that, uh, actually we can probably use the, or when we're just running normally, we can just do a, uh, let's see, weapon bow. So the normal blend space can just be the same one. What's it called? Uh, by default, BS player unarmed. And now it's gonna work. So now that's how easy we actually set up a new weapon to equip. We still haven't set up the bow weapon type, but I can pick it up, bring it to my hand, and run as normal. And you can see that it's a little bit weird, so we should probably do another print space for this one, but it's fine for now. And what else are we gonna do? We need to set up the uh, bow item type. Where do we do that? I'm just gonna close down because I have so much open. That's my biggest weakness. So, somewhere we have an equip function. Here. And this should have an output pin for a bow now, shouldn't it? Weapon. Ah, okay, sorry, weapon stance. Uh, let's do another one called ranged. Uh, there we go. And do I need to change? I need to change it in the bow as well.
stance is going to be bow and the item type is going to be bow. Perfect. So now this one is going to be moved down. We're going to copy this one. I'm aware of the fact that this is a little bit maybe unnecessary. Uh, there are easier ways to set this up, but I've already done it this way. Next tutorial, next tutorial that I do. I'll do this cleaner, I promise. Uh, so let's see, it's gonna go to this one, right? There we go. And it's gonna go to this one. There we go. So we are 100, we go to 200. We are 200, we're gonna go to ranged. In range, we're gonna go to one arc. Perfect. And let's see. Main hand details, two hand details, unarmed details. Mm. So we also need a variable called ranged details. Exactly. Perfect. So when we switch to ranged, we are going to be using the ranged details. Um, yep, the name is not the default. Uh, we're gonna add another mesh called called ranged mesh, and we are actually gonna change the ranged mesh, not the two hundred mesh. We're gonna get the range details again. We're gonna change the ranged mesh. Ah, no, sorry. Um, I think two hand, main hand, off hand, right? Yeah. So we need to set all of them to default. So main hand. Unequip something. Equip. Yeah, that should work. So this is not a very modular way to set it up. I should have made it easier to add weapons later because I already forgot like what I made here. So that's why I'm a bit confused. Uh, but that should work. Let's see how it looks. It does not work. Uh, one second, All right? It's probably because I forgot to actually connect the first one. So, if we are two handed, we're gonna go to ranged and unarmed is gonna go straight down there. So, we actually have pins from all of them. Let's see if that works. If that was the issue. It was not, but that was easily one issue. One second. All right, it's because I am stupid and I was in the wrong function. Actually, that was the equip weapon, but we have the pickup function as well. So in the, we have these pickup to set the active weapon, and we have this multicast set weapon. So from that one, we're gonna set the bow. So to do that, you're just basically gonna copy these. Uh, we're gonna get the range details. We're gonna set the range details if it's a bow uh, to the details, and then we're just gonna copy this. 
but instead it's going to be the range mesh. And that should work. see we pick it up there we go and there we go so that's working we now have our bow equipped and no other weapon to equip we can pick up the axe we can pick up the sword i believe and everything and we can switch okay so the unequip isn't working, so let's do the unequip as well. Uh, and that's in the previous function. So I think I know what the problem is with that one actually. Um, let's see. Because when we unequip, we want to. If we go to the next one here, let's see. We set the main hand mesh, but we and the off hand mesh. But we also set exactly. So this is the thing. We need to set it to the unequip slot as well, and we never do that with a bow. So what we need to do here is we need to, this, since we moved it down a row, and previously we only had the main hand off hand and the two handed, so we also need to get the, whenever we do this, we need to copy. So here, when we equip the main hand, no, actually this is unarmed. So when we go to unarmed, we can see that we set everything to. If we are unarmed and we switch to one handed, we need to set the two hand and the bow to the unequipped slot. So that's what we're doing. The range details and the range mesh needs to be set to the unequipped slot, just as we do with the two-handed slot. Now we need to do this. When we go to two-hand, we set the main hand and off-hand to the unequipped slot. We need to do that with the bow as well. Unequip, and when we go to ranged, we need to we set the main hand and the off hand uh, and so when we go to ranged we shouldn't be using the two handed details here we should be using the range details and but we also need to get the off the two handed so we go to two. Oh, sorry, we go to ranged. We set the main hand, off hand, and the two handed to unequip. And when we go to unarmed, we set the unequip for the two hand, equip for the main hand, unequip for the off hand. But we also need to do it for the ranged. All right, that was a little bit uh, confusing, but basically whenever we go to a new stance, so now we, here we go to unarmed, then we need to remove all the weapons. And the reason I do it with everyone is because we might not have all the weapon types equipped. Unarmed, axe, bow, unarmed, Axe. Perfect. So 
everything is working in this regard now. Let's just see, so it's replicating. You can see it's replicating. Uh, you can see that the sword is not using the proper socket name. Uh, okay, yeah. That was weird. So, uh, we are use we are having the wrong reference somewhere around here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One second, let me check. All right, so yeah, here it is. Uh, when we go to ranged. Uh, when we're supposed to set the main hand to the unequip slot, we're doing the range details. Let's not do the range details. It should be the main hand details. There we go. That's about it. Uh, we're gonna pause the video here. It's only already 26 minutes. Uh, that was part one. Uh, just basically setting up the basic weapon and uh, getting those parts in place. Uh, what we're gonna do in the next episode is set up the aiming blend space and the aiming, I believe. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any question. I know this was a confusing video. It's my own fault for setting up this sh this this way. Uh, it is actually it's it's quite understandable when you understand it. <laughs> but uh, it could it, it could be easier uh, anyway let me know if you have any questions and see you later bye